You did not get cut. I got cut. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. We can't say that. We can't. That's a song by Elvis. In the ghetto. Okay. Go ahead. It's recording. We have for you tonight um, question and answer. You guys were asking, and um, why don't you guys do a question and answer? Actually, people were saying, why don't y'all go live? We're just not ready to go live yet. I mean. Yeah, it's we need to find mods and things like that. Yeah. If we don't Life's it. been full, so it's been few and far between that we've been able to like come on and do anything. But we watch and we lurk. Yeah, we see everything. We see everything. But it happens so fast, sometimes we can't figure out what's going on. No, but we're adulators, so we'll be able to we'll be able to deal with it. Anyways. And, uh, okay. We're doing this quick because then we're going to have dinner. No, we're not. We're gonna have dinner. There's lasagna that's ready. And um you can He doesn't preheat the oven. Yeah, do you have to preheat the oven he before turns you... He it on and, and just sticks sticks whatever yeah. it is in, and I'm like... Because the thing is, is it gets super hot real fast, so it doesn't cook right. Yeah, but I just go ahead and put that in there, and I just add like four minutes to the timer. No, that's, about, that's not what you're... I'm not supposed to do that. Because what happens is it gets really hot to get it to the right temperature, and then it like levels out. So you're actually cooking it really high for the first few minutes. You look like you're scared I'm going to touch you. I'm not scared. Like Adulator never scared. Anyways, so we have that waiting. Um, the first one, and this one actually I saw a couple of times, was um, about Jessica. Tell us about meeting Jessica. She mentioned meeting you and says she really liked you. Um, well, that kind of ties in two questions because they want to know about the 50th birthday celebrations too. It was yeah. kind of, it was during the same so trip. it's all about you. We went to Atlanta and we came back. My birthday was October 1st. I turned 50 and um so originally um darcy was going to come out here for her spring break because her her fall break because it's at the same time but we couldn't kind of work out the whole air flight airplane thing so mandy and i just jumped in the car and drove to the atl and we had my birthday there so yeah um and it was I like it there. It was a lot cooler than it is in Texas, yeah. by chance, I think. But the last place where we stopped for gas was in Mississippi, and we had vlogged some of that on the on the way our last vlog. It was like ninety eight degrees, and then we we got out of the car at my parents' house in North Georgia, and it was like seventy three degrees. It was yeah, nice. It felt a lot better. So, so anyways, um, the day of the party, um, she brought Darcy over, and I met her, and yeah. gave her a hug, and. It was kind of like the, the, the kid pass off. So it was a Sunday. Yeah. Um, at Sunday after my birthday. And my mother had a party with my brother was there. Uh, my niece and nephew were there. And uh, two of my daughters were there. And um, so Jessica had taken Darcy to the fair for the day and was dropping Darcy off so she could be at the party. And Mandy and Jessica met. Yes. And, and I mean, good. all good things. Gave each other a yeah. hug. No, nothing. Um, we didn't get up, like a chance to talk a lot just because it was a drop off. It's um, always good when, you know, the significant other gets along with the mother of your children. You know, it just, it helps. And, and that was always like priority one with both of us is that we, to the best of our ability, got along with each yeah. other's, yeah. The, the, the parents of our, of our kids. Um, so, so that's yeah. that. It it's really was a much ado about nothing. I mean, everyone is like, oh, you know, Jessica and, and ATX are going to meet. And of course they are. They're normal people that... I've always said she's a very pretty lady. I don't have anything bad to say about her. And right. she's... So, um, <laughs> I I've always said that. I've always said that. So that's question number one. Yeah, that's the first question. Number one. And the, I mean, the 50th birthday. Oh, we did want to touch on one of the things that they did, which my family doesn't do because we're probably dysfunctional, but everybody kind of, without going into details of whatever, everybody said a wish that they had for Sean oh, yeah. over the next year. We went around the cool. table. It was, it was nice. Um, my mother started and they went all the way around the table and everybody said what, for my birthday, what their birthday wish was for me. As we always talk about what our birthday wishes are, but we also have wishes for others. And um, it was cool. She, it was really nice when she suggested it. It's like so different than it would be at my because if if someone suggested it at my house, everybody would be like, uh, "No." But 
it, it was cool that everybody was willing to do it. Um, and it went, it went really well. There was a lot of good things said. Um, and you had your glasses on. I did. And I think he's really hot in his glasses. So she likes me in my glasses. I do. I was going to wear my glasses for this, but I decided. I do. Not to. I think he's. I think he looks good in his glasses. Thank you. Maybe. That's that's the important thing. Thanks. Um. Okay. So the what do you like most about each other, physically and emotionally? <laughs> wow. Mm. I mean. Censor it, Sean. Censor it. I, I would say that. That's always something that she's always been amazing to me. Uh, she was always a good friend first. So I think physically, I think physical things, um, they're not as important as the other things. The physical things take care of themselves. I mean, she's fabulous. And um, I, I really thought that I was really nervous when we first met because I, I thought that you would think that I was completely different than... I was on camera, you know, as Tomahawk Sean, because I'm a real person, and, um... Yeah, the only thing I was surprised, you were taller than I... I mean, I knew how tall you were, but until I saw you, even my son, the first time y'all met, was like, that's one tall mother... And I was like, but I mean, that was the only thing I was... Six foot five. I still, so. I mean, I liked it. I just, that was a thing. Yeah. But we knew each other immediately in the airport, which is... I was so looking forward to, um meeting you but i was so worried that i was going to disappoint her that's what i was worried about and um and totally was not the case yeah, i was like either. what if we don't even recognize each other you always wonder that and it's like he goes and hugs like the lady next to me or something and i'm like <laughs> oh shit you know but, like hey i just wanted to <laughs> i did because there was a few people there that could look like me and i was like if you walks up to one of them and it's like oh I would be like, I'll be so embarrassed. I think I'll just walk out the door. <laughs> but but it, it didn't work. It didn't. No, turn out that, that way. didn't happen. But um, I think I'm. But we're not very good at this. Okay. But emotionally, I think that the um, what I like most about the emotional part of it is I do like that you. Um, there's way more to you than I think people see, and you're a pretty. Uh, your thoughts on things are pretty um, deep. I don't think people see that part of you. I, I, same. I mean, I think our chemistry is very different than what you guys may see. Well, you guys see happiness and all that, and that's all true. But what ATX is uh, on camera is not who Mandy is. And once I met Mandy, uh, I always, I have a crush on ATX, but then I met Mandy. And um, she's incredible. And she's taught me how, uh, how much worth I have. I was in situations where I did, really didn't know what I was worth. And um, I thought I knew what I was worth, but she taught me that. And so that's... And that kind of ties her. into the, um, what sparked your interest in each other. I think when you first, you first did your very first vlog, and someone told me, hey, her, her husband did a vlog. It was your very first one. There's like 13,000 views, right? That one? Yeah, it's, um, it's truthfully, Trisha's husband speaks I'll, out. I'll put the link in there. Yeah. Um, but I was shocked at, it just wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting either like a, a meek, mild, you know, you know, kind of submissive or the opposite. Like a you real know, jerk or yeah. something like that. And so it was intriguing to see that I was like, well, oh, this is a nice looking, well spoken, seems to be all together. What the hell he's doing with that one now? <laughs> um, but from the beginning, I didn't consciously know that I had a crush on him. But from the beginning, I mean, if we, I go back through my DMs with other people, I have a, a track record I was de of defending you. Yeah. We were looking through them on the road trip and I was like, oh, look at this. And it was like, even before. I, yeah. I mean, that, that goes back too. Um, way back. That's 2017. Mm -hmm. But, um, with Mandy, we did a, we did a uh, panel together and we talked about somebody else. We talked about Gerald Jackson and we did that in December. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when I got his phone number. That's we, the very first time we, we ever had each other's phone fact, numbers. In fact, I may stick that screenshot in here. I have to. Yeah. You need to remind me of that. Um, because we couldn't get it to work, Hangouts to work. So he was actually on a speaker phone, and I right. had it next to the thing, and that's why I had his phone number. A couple of people have asked why I had your phone number. Yeah. 
Not that I didn't utilize it after that, but, <laughs> but nothing the, happened at that time. That's what I was getting to is that after we had each other's phone numbers and um, your son was going through basic training in AIT and she would share his progress, you know, at Fort Benning and things like that. And it was very cool and uh, very platonic. And, mm -hmm. but uh, just as a friend, trying to give her and him when I knew, you know, she like spoke to him vicariously through me and um, giving him advice on his military career. And that went on. Um, when did he get done with AIT? Was it February or something, something like that? Something like that. If we go back and trace it, it was, yeah, about that. May 9th is the first time we ever talked about, well, hey you know what i was like give me a call because i wanted to explain to him yeah the true situation of where i was at with things in my life he was obviously i made sure you know i said are you for sure sure that he's like i'm, I'm on my way to atlanta it, yeah I, it. I can't do it anymore she was like are you sure you're leaving her are you, are you not going to go back this time and i was like i am he was a little bit confused like no i'm not i'm and i was like okay well can i can i have a try <laughs> yeah she was like she was like um so and so that's uh, when of all the rumors that are floating around. If you didn't hear us when we were on Sally's panel, the day that it changed from friendship to kind of a hookup at first, I think would have been like uh, was May 9th when she asked me, you know, some things. But there was never anything other than friendship until the 9th of May. Yeah, and that was when everything kind of changed, and that could be anybody. If you think about um, anybody that you correspond with and all the the friends that you have um non-romantic friends that you platonic friends that you have on uh on youtube and i have a few that uh and then i'm i always tell her i was grateful that she crossed over and started flirting i guess because i wouldn't have he I mean, went, he, he i wouldn't have done he it he didn't understand the way my life was at the time like you Obviously, it was it was pretty much a done deal because I went, you know, I'm, right now <clears throat> we've gone. I'm, I'm divorced, so I mean, it took no time at all, and it yeah. it, it closed on the house. That's gone. Um, yeah, they she's closed on the house. Yeah, Her house is gone. We sold that. But so, I mean, like in general, with with YouTube in general, because there's a lot of you that I talked to that were you know, good friends. And you guys know who you are, like through everything that I was going through before um, I crossed paths with her. Uh, she was a friend at the time and there, and I don't think anybody can say anything that I ever said anything or suggested anything other than friendship. I, I thought that you two would be the last place in the world that I would try to move on. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna move on so quickly and I was still trying to figure out where I even fit in um, with all the social media, with YouTube and Twitter, because I knew a whole lot of people. And then, but um, you never really happened. did anything with social media until. No, my 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 so my YouTube channel and it was it solely even... to be connected with hers. That's what I thought. There and, was nothing really. Yeah, so I didn't know what I was going to do, but I could not deny the fact that I had a lot of friends that I continue to have. And um, but it was May 9th. That was the that was the day. What we we don't even um, like I I think the trust with both of us is like complete. I don't worry about any like no. With, I mean no. I, and I see who's in her DMs. I see who's slick, and it's okay. I mean that's cool. She's beautiful, <laughs> you know. So, I, but I'm not a I'm not a um, I'm not a very jealous person, you know. No. I'm not a very jealous person. I, and my and she knows my insecurities. I've shared those with her. My the things that drive my self-esteem, my ego. Uh, she knows what makes me insecure, and she is wonderfully attentive to, um, well, to making me a better person. I don't. I don't do things also to disrespect you. I don't. I try yeah. to. I try to be well behaved. One of the biggest <laughs> things you said that was that she wanted me to know that what people have seen on YouTube and on social media, she knew it didn't define me. Right. And that that there was something more. So. I, you know, I'm grateful every day. So, um, the what is the wedding theme was actually there was two people that asked that. What is the wedding theme and or uh, when and where? I guess um, that I don't know yet. Well, we've I, I talked. Don't. We've joked a lot about 
what it'll look like and you know like i'll be fishing or something and yeah. and they'll be like all right and i'll have i'll be like reeling in a fish or something like that and i just hand it the fishing rod to somebody else i think and, it would be fun to do it on the beach yeah i think that both of us eventually would like to find ourselves back at a beach somewhere there's beaches all over the place and now we're starting to talk about what the next year is going to look like as I finalize, you know, everything on my prior relationship. And where, where do we want to be? Is it going to be in Texas? Is it going to be somewhere else? And it's really kind of up in the air because I'm all of a sudden more involved in, with my daughter's lives again. And I have one that's going to graduate high school and she's going to go to college somewhere. And that's what we like. And um, that's also been the greatest thing. Like the last time we went to Atlanta, it was um, kind of, it wasn't, it was more spur of the moment because we didn't know which way it was going to go. Right. But we're going to go again in the near future. And yeah. it was my idea to go. Yeah. I, 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 I like right. hanging out with his family and seeing. She's been around the family a couple of times and they. And my parents love him. My, my mom, I think would probably marry him before I had the chance. So. <laughs> but uh, she's got Everybody a great family. Believe, yeah. She's got a good family. So that's worked out well. And I'm glad that, you know, it's taking you some time to relax, you know, knowing that we can go have fun, come back, Yeah. you know. It's been busy. Everything's been really busy. And that's why we haven't been vlogging. That's why you don't see us around. People that are our friends, we're still talking to them. We're lurking in all the live streams. And we know all the fuckery that's going on. Mm -hmm. And um, we may transition into that in another vlog here soon because we like talking about it. I like you know, how we we don't watch her live streams. We don't watch her, we and that, that, that's a question, wasn't I, that? That was a question. We do not yeah, watch her. I can I can address that. I I stopped watching her. Uh, so one of the things that everybody was saying is, Sean, you have to just stop watching. Um, you you can't you can't watch it. And so whenever you leave in a situation like mine and you have to go zero contact. For me to go absolute zero contact, and there's a couple people that said, you know, well, he's not zero contact because he knows A, B, and C. That's kind of true. Uh, to, to go absolute zero contact, I would have to drop off social media altogether. But what I was able to do is unsubscribe to everything and kind of block everything so I don't know anything that's going on over there. I, I know what everybody thinks and what everybody says, and I see all the clips on Twitter because you, you can pretty much keep yeah, up with everything everybody and not just her but other people yeah other people um and people that have given us things that we need right. screenshots of of doc scene things like that but I, was, I mean i am gonna say that i mean we do have all that yeah we have it i mean a lot of it is for what's ahead you mm -hmm. know i gotta have a lot of stuff documented um but and i don't want anything nasty and state be nasty, but it, there's stuff, there's important pieces of information that have to be maintained. But as far as like clicking on a link, um, a notification and getting a link and going to watch is June. And yeah. we moved into this place, uh, August 8th, we took the keys to this. And I say from August to now, which we're in mid October, I've only been intrigued enough, I think one time to go over and recheck it. And I, and I was in there for like, 50 seconds and I've just like, no, and, and, and no. So there's a lot of people out there that are upset with me because they, they thought I had some kind of duty to take a platform and, and spill a bunch of stuff. And, but the bigger population of, of this community has given me huge props and her huge props for just not addressing it at all and just moving on with our best life. And our best life doesn't include that. Yeah. So it's just, it's toxic and there's no reason yeah. to go back there you left yeah. it behind so and the last the biggest one too several times was the question about babies <laughs> since all we do is bowl together i don't know how that would even happen i I, I know i mean i think the we've spooned a few times but you know but i think that uh if that happens it happens i mean there's a lot of stuff that's that's happening in our lives and i'm a grandfather and um it would be funny for an uncle to be younger than yeah we were thinking about we have because i have a grandson named sean He'd so be like, what I so yeah i'm an uncle younger than yeah me. so my uncle is yeah <laughs> is younger than me and uh so we think about all the scenarios so we're both we're both open to it and yeah. looking at it and looking at it very seriously um but i we'll mean if it happens naturally it happens naturally and there were some things that 
would have to happen. But, um, you know, not, nothing's off the table, put it that way. I mean, this I think it would be incredible to raise um, a child or two with her, with, with Mandy. I, I think that it would be phenomenal, and it would be different. And yeah. I think for her, the same. She's a great mom. Both of her kids are doing great things. My, my kids are doing great things. And we um, talked to your girls about it and that we were thinking about it. We talked to mine that we were thinking about it and everybody seemed okay with it. Yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag a little bit. I think that the, the, the main thing for the kids, uh, a couple of them are just like over the top, like, hell yeah. Uh, and then there's a couple that are like, whoa, because of the age, yeah. because of what they know they put their parents through. Do you, you, sure, you sure you guys want to yeah. do that again? You know, yeah. so, but. So the answer to that is yes. Well, for yeah, all the answer is yes. yes. It, I mean, it, it's not it's not a no. Put right. it that way. But and then we've already talked about the wedding theme. Let's I'd see. be married at your parents' house. Yeah, I mean, I think that everybody on both sides. But we're not is, even engaged. Yeah, I mean, we've got to do the right thing. <laughs> I think that was it. The birthday celebration we already talked about. It was fun. He had pistachio and coffee ice cream because he doesn't like cake. And I was like, you are very old. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> my mother was like, what What do you want? It's your birthday. And I haven't had a birthday party in 10 years, you know. So, um, and 50 is a pretty big one. And so baseball was on. Baseball was on the whole time. So, I was allowed to kind of have it in the background. He was like, like, yeah, this is all My great. dad hates that. And like these is 50th birthday so we had the braves on in the back uh, that was the night that the braves were down to, for you guys that watch baseball it was game two i think and they were down one to nothing it in the ninth at their house. and they scored three runs in the ninth inning and went on to win and, and it, yeah so it gets very loud at their place when sports is on speaking of sports uh your Seahawks are doing good, and my Falcons are in the <laughs> tank. And I'm a Georgia fan, and we... Every, all of his, your teams are... Yeah, it, it was a bad week. Last week, the Braves give up 10 runs in the first inning of a deciding... <laughs> you just sat there like... I, I, I couldn't I believe it. I couldn't even... I, I, I can't even cuss about it. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> and then and then my Georgia Bulldogs miss a field goal and lose their game. That's they were hot. And then my uh, Falcons miss a friggin' extra point and lose by a point. It was a bad week. It was a bad week. Yeah. But he took it pretty well. Yeah. So, I mean, those are the questions that you guys gave us. If and I think wanted, that was all of them, wasn't Yeah, it? that was all of them. If you want to DM, oh, what are you looking, what about the future are you looking forward to the most? No, I, I think just, um, I mean, being in love, be, I, I think both of us had, you've said before, you thought love wasn't for you, that other people had. Yeah, I, I thought that, you know, I was raised, uh, my parents have been together 50 uh, some years. And um, I, I understand every, every relationship is different. And I was a very for better, for worse person. And, and I have a huge... And y'all all watch that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I have, I have a huge um, honor and uh, respect and loyalty. Loyalty is a big thing for me. Uh, and there's some of the people that I clown on here now and I talk about. It's because they... They have no loyalty, and, right. but you know they 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 go and they talk to whoever about whatever, and um, but I, I just thought it wasn't for me. I thought that this was my life. This was going to be for my for better or for worse, and uh, so what's ahead? It's so new for me. It's so new to have this level, this kind of love because I I I'm fifty and I was I had settled. Yeah, I had settled, and and I, I my I have. You know, my ex-husband and I are fine, but we never had this kind of love. Yeah. I would say we had a great partnership. Um, and I would say that about my first marriage with, with right. Jessica. We had three beautiful kids, and we, right. we got married very young. She was 19, and we lasted almost two decades trying to raise our kids. And people change. Contracts change. Marriage yeah. is kind of a contract, and they change. You have to change together. You're not going to... You know I don't think I mean? there's many other people. Like, we can spend... We never get tired of each other. No. A matter of fact. At some point, we might, but I can't imagine that. I mean, I'd say the only downside, if we're completely honest with everything, is that we both know, we both have read up on it. We both had our journeys um, with this certain types of recovery, and uh, we know about codependency. So, yeah, I think that we are right now. I mean, yeah. I, 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 um, 
I wake up every morning and I reach for her and uh, I kind of freak out if I don't, I wake right up if I can't find her. And there's certain things that, um, you know, keep couples apart uh, during the day, job, school, whatever it is, um, vacations, um, you know, with their children that they might not have with each other. And um, I am not good with that yet. I'm not good with, with being without her. Uh, and, uh, but as we grow, uh, it'll grow. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not jealous, but I, and I'm secure with her. I'm just, it's more about just wanting to spend every, you know, that's how I am too. That's how I am too. So I've always said, if that's codependency, then I guess so be it. But there's lots of people that have been married for 70, 80. I mean, my grandparents married for 68 years and they were just about as, I don't know that they ever spent a night apart ever. No, I mean, you're not so really supposed to, I mean, the way that our world is now, people are forced to be apart, but it wasn't that long ago, 50 years ago, where our grandparents and, and, and they were always together. They mm-hmm. spent their lives together. We didn't have multimedia. We didn't have red eye jets and this and that. We didn't have the World Wide web. You spent time with them. Uh, and that's what made things work. And, uh, we're here. The reason why we're not doing a lot of content and I haven't, uh, done anything on my channel or we haven't done more here is because we're together. If you don't think we're not laying in bed with the iPads watching all the fuckery as it unfolds, we are. Yeah. We are. And what's interesting is there's new faces. I, I, some of these new faces I mm-hmm. it takes. But I know, like, if, if someone pops in, like, to a certain, you know, panel or whatever, usually either I or he know the history behind it. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, I mad props for Katie. I, there, yeah, I mean. We, we, uh. We don't have any problem with Katie, in fact. I mean, the way, the way it and is with Katie. And I know that Katie, came out of nowhere, but no, I know but, she's taken a lot of heat lately. And I'm like, this is who she is. This is who she's always been. All I can say is, is I would not be, um, my integrity would not be intact. I mean, there's a ton of people that I lived a certain way and I did certain things. And it turned so many people off and so many people away. And... They've given me another chance. And I'm now talking with people and commenting on Twitter, people that I just didn't like, and they didn't like me. And I'm grateful for that chance. And that's all I say to people is if someone's trying to turn over a new leaf, if someone's found love, I mean, 2019, there's been a few couples that have got together. Yeah. Congratulations to Lucy and Yuri. Yeah, Lucy and Yuri. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I'm glad that. My bro Ham, and he deserves that. So that's all I say about Katie. I mean, Katie and I were never friends. Uh, but I realized how much... But Yaba not just, unblocked you. Yaba finally unblocked me? <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, ah. But um, Mandy is friends with a lot of people that didn't like me. And they've been... They've said, if it's, if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for us. And I, I, my friends that didn't like Mandy the same way, they're like, well, she's good enough for us if she's good enough for you. And, and then um, there's some people that are I'm just going to hate for us forever. Yeah, and there and, and I and whatever the opinions are, that's cool. I, I understand it. I, I get yeah. it. I get it. it. It's all fair, you know. We're going to go eat our lasagna. We have lasagna. It's not made from scratch. Is it Stouffer's? I think I think I did Stouffer's, but I, but I cooked it in the better. oven. I cooked it in the oven though. Okay, you can't microwave that anyway. I what I used to <laughs> and microwave that's so bad. everything. Um, so. Okay. Well, that's it for now. We'll try to make another one soon because this is going to take five years to upload. So yeah, we'll um, be, have three kids by the time it finally posts. The last thing was is that what are you guys doing with your channel? Are you going to do live? I think that what she and I are going to do is just kind of for now it's going to like review the fuckery because we watch it all. I watch it more than I ever have and just give us give our opinions of what's been said and what's been done because um, it's... When you now, when you change the position that you're in, which you've been in for a while, we both changed our position in the community. Um, it, it's it's eye opening, but you know, yeah. I have my opinions. So. Okay, I think that's it. Let me make sure we didn't miss anything. All right, let's go eat some lasagna. Lasagna time. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate Bye. you guys.